definitely a little windy today but hey the last video everybody was saying something about the water they got in the kayak so we're gonna see how that was done i took the heavy battery out and put a lithium in the front maybe to make the front a little lighter i think that might be why it was happening and then i got these dry boots on so when i get in the water and walk around and everything then get in the boat i bring a little water in so i'm gonna pay attention to how much water i actually bring in i definitely think some might be coming to the scupper plugs but it might be because the front of the kayak's way too heavy i'm short so I got the seat pushed forward. As you can see right there, how far the forward the seat is compared to a lot of people. So a lot of the weight is gonna be at the front. So hey, let's see the reason behind that water getting in and if it gets in with a lighter battery in there. Let's go. Let's try to carry a little less water in with me. All right, didn't carry that much water in. Whoop. Bam. As you can see right now, definitely got a little bit of water coming through the scupper plugs. So, not sure if they're not really working. My front end, just a little bit lower, it seems like, than the back. Well, it might be even, I don't know. Can't really tell when you're sitting in it. All right, so we're out on the water. Let's see if we can do some fishing in this wind. I don't know how it's gonna work out. But hey, got a couple other tests going on, at least with the scupper plugs to see if there was water coming through. There's definitely some water coming through on the one on the left because I didn't have that much water in here when I started. I'm, I might take them out to see if I can drain it out. So I definitely just think it's the water coming up to the scupper plugs on here. I ain't seen no water cavitating up or nothing out of the drive or nothing like that crazy. Probably because I've been taking those scupper plugs in and out a lot. Maybe they don't have a perfect fit. Maybe I need to talk to native, I'm not sure. But I got these dry boots on, it's not really bothering me as long as I don't fill the yak up. Maybe I just need to just leave them out since I got these dry boots. Let's get out of try taking one of the scuppers out. See what she does. Yeah. I must just have see how I have a lot of weight in the front. So there's still water in there. You want to take the scupper out? Because my seats push forward so far. And that's just what it does. If I just leave the scuppers out, I don't know. Bam, both the scuppers back in. So, maybe I need to push all my stuff to the back. Probably add a battery back there for some other stuff anyway. So, eventually gonna put a trolling motor or something on the back. That should get it a little more level in the future. As you can see, it's quite a bit. Go ahead and shake it up some so you can see it. As you can see it in there. Go ahead and drain it out. I think the problem is just the scupper plugs. I don't think it has nothing to do with anything with the scupper plugs. I, I mean, I do have a little more weight forward, you know, and this part of the boat's lower. But even though it's lower, I mean, if you got a scupper plug in, you would, you would think it would work. Even on my cheap Pelican I had, it worked. So much as i pay for this thing i'd hope the scupper plugs would work i'm gonna contact native about them these scupper plugs just to see what they say and uh if they can send me some more maybe those just have a problem i don't know but definitely seems to be some kind of problem as you can see how far forward my seat is i'm short so i got it really far forward you know some people might have it back another uh, four or five inches you know if you're taller so i'm on like five seven so i have to have that seat pretty far forward as you can see that's how far forward it is right there Bam. But if you like this kind of video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and thanks for watching.